everyone, it's Dawn, and today I am going to show you a trick for the convertible cup mask and how you can put in a removable wire so that when your guests that uh, you send the mask to wash their masks, they can just simply remove the wire out and then just put it back in. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this all in the process of creating our casing that goes over the nose brim of our mask. And so I'm going to start with uh, explaining that I took my 22 gauge wire and I bent it on both sides here and on the right side here. And then I took some gross grain ribbon and I just hot glued a little flap of ribbon over that. If I want, I can um, just cut that on an angle and we're ready to go. I can also pink that edge um, straight across if I want, however you want to do that. But I took the four inch wire. Now some people do three inches. I prefer to do four inches. I think four inches is the right fit for most adult masks. And I um, then pinned on my nose brim of my mask at one and seven eighths of an inch from center is my first pin and then I gave myself another pin a half inch from there. So we from center, the center seam here, and I'm going to make sure that I'm catching this in the camera, from the center seam here to one seven eighths of an inch. One and seven eighths of an inch, a little pin. And don't worry about the, the pin hole. The um, bias tape is going to cover that and also I'm using ballpoint pens which make the tiniest of holes they barely break the fabric so that being said you can also mark it with a pen or a fabric marker if you like the idea here is just to be able to see uh, where you want to do your top stitch and or fake stitch I call it both either or because what we're going to do is give the appearance that we have finished our top stitch here with our bias tape. So I have my bias tape and I am going to just match it up with my cup and I can see that that's enveloped in there and then I'm just going to lay it flat and if you need to pin it you can pin it but the idea is just to sew right over those needles or right over those pins, my apologies. So I am going to make sure that I'm starting right where that first pin is. I want to start right on where that pin is. And if you didn't know this, you can sew over pins as long as they're going the opposite direction of your needle, the line that you're stitching like railroad tracks. So I'm going to go one forward and I'm going to go one back to lock it up, lock that thread in there. And then I'm going to go forward and I am going to go over that pin, that second pin, and then I am going to make sure to lock that up. And then I'm going to pull away and I'm going to pull my threads away from the machine. I'm going to snip my threads very close and on the other side as well. And I can keep those pins in there because it's a good indication for me when I come back around what I need to do. But if you can see there, I've sewn exactly from the pin that's marked at one and seven eighths and over a half inch from there and I've done a straight stitch. So now the idea is to complete the process of the casing and sewing your bias tape over the nose bridge. There we go. A little backwards, forwards. And I just want to make sure that I'm catching my casing underneath. When I get to that first pin, I'm going to stop. And I'm going to lock it up. And I'm going to go backwards. And I'm going to come back to that pin. And then I'm going to lift my needle up. And I am going to move forward to the second pin. And then I'm going to put my presser foot down. And I'm also going to put my needle down. I'm going to go forward a stitch or two. And then backwards a stitch or two. I just want to make sure that I'm locking that thread in. 
and that it will not come undone. And now I'm just going to finish sewing my nose bridge casing with the bias tape that I made in a coordinating fabric. And if you want to learn how to do that or how to make this cotton cup mask, the link is below for the other video. And if you'd like to purchase the pattern, the link for that is below. If you're not a sewing angel and you just want me to make you a fabulous mask, there's a link below for that too. So you can see that I have the two pins there and because I skipped that stitch, I've got that loose thread there, right? So I am now just going to clip that loose thread from where I skipped and I'm going to flip it over. And same thing here, I have that loose thread where I basically created a pocket on the opposite side. And that pocket is going to work out beautifully for us. I'm going to be able to remove these pins now. I don't need them because I'm going to be able to take my wire that I made, five inches, cut five inches, bent on either side, and then gross grain ribbon hot glued to the side that is going to be used to insert the wire in the mask. And the great thing about this is that that gross grain ribbon is going to stop that wire from moving. Because we have stitches here, that even if I push it, that wire is not going to move. So it keeps the wire stabilized for whoever's wearing it. And it also makes it easy for uh, your guest, whoever you're making your mask for, to remove it and clean it, their mask without the wire in it. And I am just looking carefully because I want to pink that ribbon. Because I want a short ribbon. I want to barely notice it if I wear it the other way. There we go. But I don't want the ribbon so short as that it's up inside the casing, just enough that it's going to catch this thread right here and it's not going to move because of that. And so it makes it really simple for whoever has the mask that they can get that wire out of there whenever they go to wash their mask. How simple is that? Um, big problem because sometimes we're all using different wires, we're not really sure how they're going to be affected when we wash them. And um, sometimes the users, they don't even want the wire in there. And um, that makes it so that they can take the wire out. And there you go. And that is how you do a removable wire. And this trick will work for any mask that has a casing. And if your mask pattern does not have a casing, you could probably incorporate one. The link for this pattern for our cotton, our, our convertible cup mask pattern, our cotton, our convertible cup mask pattern is below. And you can take that uh, link, it'll take you right to our website. You can purchase online. The digital files are emailed to you immediately when you purchase. And you'll be able to download those files. There's a link inside the email. You'll be able to download and print those files. If you do not have a printer, you can take it to a print shop, they can print it for you. You can also send us an email if necessary. We'll be happy to print it for you and send them to you by snail mail. That's it for today, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like this hack. And know that I appreciate all of you. It has given me a sense of purpose to teach you and help you learn how to make better masks in less time and saving money. All right, have a great day. Bye.